Greetings folks, what we have here is uh, an FR Sky XM Plus 16 channel S bus receiver. Absolutely tiny, tiny little full range receiver, weighs 1.6 grams, runs on 3.7 to 10 volts. It's a full range receiver and I have it on authority from one of my YouTube friends, English Turbines, that it possibly even has greater range than the normal X-series receivers, but let's try it out anyway. I can't believe it is so small. We also get uh, angled pins and straight up pins to uh, solder on, just here. We have the bind button there. So I'll solder the pins on, bind it up to my Tyrannus and see how it goes. The FR Sky XM Plus is a non-telemetry uh, but full range S bus 16 channel receiver but it does have RSSI on channel 8 or channel 16 depending on the firmware that you uh, flash to the receiver. You do need to flash the latest firmware. I'm using the receiver with uh, Matek F405 wing flight control board and if I put my arm there, there you can see the RSSI uh, up here in the top left corner giving 77, 80, something like that. I'll turn the radio off and you, you should see it drop down to zero. There it is down to zero again now. And it should come up again. There we go. Signal again. Seems to be working well. You will need a radio that has the flashing port included like this FR Sky X Lite. The QX7 or some of the QX7 radios have that uh, flashing port as well. Um, my version doesn't um, so luckily I've got this radio and what you do is you plug the receiver into the radio. That orientation we've got ground over to the right it plugs in like that. But First of all you need to go to the FR Sky website and uh, find the page for the XM Plus receiver, download the latest firmware. Now if you have a look in that folder that you download, once you unzip it you'll see there are six files, six firmware files. What you need to do with the firmware folder that you downloaded from the FR Sky site is to put it in the firmware folder on the SD card for the radio. So got the receiver plugged in to uh, the flashing port there, uh, push left on the joystick to go into radio setup then page across to the SD card go down to that push the button to select it and there you'll see uh, the six different versions of the firmware the FCC versions are US and the LBT is the EU versions and you choose whether you want the RSSI on channel 16 channel 8 or uh, is that no RS RSSI maybe? I'm not too sure. Anyway, this RSSI 16 is the one that I want. Push and hold the button and flash S port is what you want. So you push the button again, let it do its job. And it's writing and it'll be flashing. There we go, that's done. Firmware is flashed. So now you just go to the iNav configurator, connect up the flight control board with that. And in the receiver page, you select the channel for RSSI, uh, channel 16 in my case. Then you go to the OSD page and turn on the RSSI reading and there you go. It's all done.